Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to your channel. <laughs> All right then guys, so we did make it to the Habit. We are gonna be going to get groceries because we don't have anything to eat at home. So we did come get some stuff. I literally just got a chicken breast with a thing of meat and a little bit of avocado because I'm craving it. Seems like they forgot to take off the bread for me, but I'll just do it myself. I'm saying, and then what'd you give me? The same, but just no patty. No patty. Yeah, because the patty has fat, so. But I'm gonna eat my bread. Are yeah, you gonna eat your bread? I'm not on the diet no more. Excuse me? Huh? Excuse me? Huh? What'd you say? I'm not on the diet no more. Why? I got depressed. <laughs> You're not on your diet no more? You gave up already or what? Yeah. Why? I love food. 2021's the year, guys. Wait, it is 2021, huh? Or is it 2020? What year is it? 1972. Sounds great. So we just finished eating our sandwiches. I am on my diet, but today was kind of just like more carbs diet for me. Is that considered more carbs if I ate the sandwich with the bread? Yeah. Is it more carbs? Mm -hmm. But basically, how many carbs can I have then? I forgot. I forgot how much it was. It was like 160, 125 or something like that. Yeah, so it's not that bad just because like I haven't even ate. And then I'm probably just gonna eat like once more anyway, which is basically just gonna be chicken and like some rice, but it's not even gonna be that much. So basically I'm still on track, I would say. I'm drinking water. I was craving a boba, but I need to limit myself because I've been having a boba probably like, I don't know, three times this week and I'm sad about it because now I can't have it. But anyway, so we finished eating our sandwiches and now we are going to surf through because my car is a little messy and since it did rain, my car from the outside is dirty and there's a shit stain right here that I just realized. That's mine. Do you see that? It's like by the sky. Do you guys see the sky right now? Today was such a beautiful sunny day. It was clear blue skies and now it's like, I don't know, these kind of clouds kind of scare me a little bit. I don't know why. They just look kind of weird. It looks like it's going to rain just because of those dark clouds over there and then the sun over there is just like peeking through. But I don't know. What do you think? What do you mean? Do you think it's going to rain? I don't know. I don't think so. What does the weather say about? I think I looked it up and it said that it was just going to be sunny with like clouds. <laughs> what the? Anyway, for today's weather report, it is fucking sunny. And you know what? Love that for us. You know why? Because the sun makes us all happy. But it makes our cars dirty when it rains. Love a little car wash moment. I feel like we haven't done a car wash video in a while. We always did car washes back then. Does anybody else just get on their phone in the car wash? Because <laughs> yes. same. Love that for us. So we basically recorded nothing inside, but it's fine. We got a whole bunch of groceries, as you guys can tell. And it was a success. Why? Because we got everything. <laughs> there were just a lot of people there. That's why I do. I don't know. It was just yeah. like. Yeah. And then we were trying to like look at carbs and sugars on everything. We were just trying to read everything. And then too many people around. So we get. Uh, uh, that was probably <laughs> the busiest I've seen that grocery store. Yeah. Well, before. it's because today's the first of the month. Today's February 1st. So everybody. Oh, yeah. That's true. Get paid. You know, they get their groceries the first of the month. They pay their rent. You know, stuff like that. So. Yeah, we forgot about that. And we usually go uh, grocery shopping like in the middle of the night, but this time we came around, what time is it actually? It's 6.27 p.m. So it's early as heck for us for sure. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go inside. All right then guys, so we finally made it back home. We told ourselves we're gonna go and vlog and you know what we didn't do? Vlog, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't vlog too much. We are kind of just chilling, enjoying life, chilling and you know what I'm saying? Lots of chilling and kissing. No, there was none of that going on. I don't get that. But. <laughs> Let me show you guys what we got. If you guys are interested in seeing what we get at the grocery store, usually it looks a lot worse than this, you guys. As far as like fattening foods when we're not on the diet, it would literally be all frozen foods. How about it be? Yeah, and then like yogurt, candy, milks, a lot of snacks, snacks. from bars. Yeah, like we would not be able to see like greens like this, but we see a lot of yeah. bags, so that's a lot good. Of veggies. We did get this chicken that's already made. That way we can eat it right away. Yeah, like we're gonna eat right that. Now. I'm gonna dip that in some buffalo Ooh, sauce. That's what I'm gonna do. Rice. Got some rice, that'd be good. We got a lot of drinks. Zero sugar drinks. I got a low fat, low sugar milk. Your um, chips. I don't know what that is. Your go-to chips. Go-to chips. That's for my ground beef. I usually put these with the ground beef. So it's kind of like a nacho though. I like yeah. that idea for you. Yeah, so look what we got. I was craving cereals and I kind of just found these. These had very low sugar. So this one only has four grams of sugar and then this one only had four grams of sugar, literally. Sorry. But it's only for like a cup and a half and then the, the fats but, were zero. So yeah, but try not to eat it too much, you know what I mean? Yeah, but this is only when I crave it though. Yeah, like once a week. Yeah, and we 
we of course we did get our meat so we have some meat right here what is this one chili verde or chili verde well this one's pork yeah and then we have some steak we never get steaks like this you guys when we go to restaurants how me and you are not the type of people that get steaks at restaurants yeah but the carnicero guy or whatever the meat guy or whatever <laughs> he told us that this was the best steak i have heard about this the ribeye steaks so we're gonna try it out we actually did get some seasonings for it like we already do have like garlic salt and all that but where's the seasoning there but all oh, that one this one so there's this one and then we also got one i'm gonna where's try this that? one famous dates oh no i put it away where's this oh this is parsley famous yeah so we'll probably try this one famous dave's steak and burgers i do like the steaks and like stuff from famous dave's so what we're gonna try it ships, out though? I've never seen those yeah movies. so these chips you guys i'm very curious about these because chicharrones i don't know but they have one gram of carb if that it says like a little bit less for about four nine pieces so that's not bad so i'm gonna try them out how about this though i've never seen that oh yeah almond flour i want to try it out something different it does have three grams of carbs for two tablespoons so i'm gonna try to use two tablespoons and what is that made for or what it's for just like I don't know because I wouldn't have known. So we can do crispy chicken. Like so it, what do you do though? Like do you have to put it in yeah, egg? Yeah, yeah. And then put that on there? Yeah, and then put it in the oil. And then do you have to freeze them before you make them? Or is it deep no. fried? Is it oven? It's going to be deep fried pretty much. So it's going to be like chicken so nuggets. So I can't eat it then? That's fats. I mean, probably not that much fats. Six grams. You can eat it, but then you have to balance your fats. Look after. at these though. So Stephanie wanted some waffles. So I told her. I don't want her to give up, you guys. So I'm going to let her have a little bit of sweets. Like I'm talking like no more than 10 grams of sugar a day day if that you know what i mean because i want her to give up so this one does have two grams of sugar per two waffles so that's not too bad so i'm gonna have her try this one your go-to sugar-free um, red bull and then she did get yeah she did get some sugar-free syrup so she's gonna try that out I got to get some sugar-free Jello, sugar-free Red Bulls. So basically, yeah. yeah, everything that we have here is either sugar-free or very low in sugars or very low in carbs and fats, yeah. like depending on who. But um, yeah, so basically we got everything that we need and I'm excited because I'm already defrosting the chicken. Yeah, because I do want to make some chicken with alpato sauce, which, oh my God, I think we don't have alpato sauce. Hold on. No, I think we do. Do we? Yeah. That's something I forgot to get. Look, Stephanie got some low fat or zero sugar popsicles, so. We should have some more. Oh, yeah, we do have Yeah, we have hella of pato, so I remember And of course, time. we did get Malachi's bones, which is a Oh, yeah, these right here. It's like a ritual, though, because every time we go to Winco, he knows that he has bones coming from Ha, okay. Ha, bonito. You are loved in this house. Go ahead and love him real quick, you please. You are very, go very Go ahead and love. Vámonos, por favor, ese hombre. Ama, ese niño hermoso, chulo, príncipe hermoso del mundo. Do you know we're obsessed with our dog? His name is Malachi. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, and he's loved, huh? Say it, please. He needs a bath. Say it if you're a sexy mofo. Okay, sounds great. He's not. He's better than a six. I demand you the six. All right, well, damn. <laughs> Ooh, did you tell him about these? Yeah. Though? So he's so excited. So I want to try one actually already. Already? So this is basically an ice cream, but it says it has no sugar, right? It has no sugar, but it has like other types of sugars. But it has five grams of sugar. Let me see. So we won't be eating those. See, I told you because the fruits all have sugar. I'm still gonna eat one. Why does it say no sugar added? I told you that it's gonna have sugars, but it's no sugars added. So it's natural sugars. Let me try it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm. Mm-hmm. Why would you do it like that? Bite it. No, I just want. Oh no, that tastes like f***ing Robo Tuscan. What's that? I don't know, but that tastes gross. I like it. That's good. Don't eat it all, please, Chula girl. So we're gonna go ahead and put away everything, make sure everything's nice and neat, Chula. start making our food, and then maybe work out later. Who knows? All right, then, guys. So it is the next day. I don't even know what we did yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Grocery shop. God damn. That so took a while. I know, huh? So we went grocery shopping, stuff like that. In our previous video, you guys, I did tell you guys that I did get a kidney stone. And if most of you guys do know, kidney stones are very painful. It feels like a sharp pain on your back and you can't do anything. And then if you do end up peeing it out, like the little stone, like just, just imagine like the pee hole, right? Like the pee hole's like, I don't know how big it is or whatever. I don't like go in there and study it. Did you maybe. show it to him? Yeah, I showed it to him. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's it at? Where's it even at? I don't know, Felicia. Anyways, you guys, I get so nervous when he says that he has pain like that because when we were living in LA, I feel like that was one of the worst experiences like of my life dealing with like that because it's so important, you know, like it's part of his health and I get so worried about stuff like that. So when he's in pain, I feel like, like I don't really know what to do because he's usually stronger than that. So I just start tripping out and I start getting worried. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. So him having a kidney stone, that's like, I don't even know what it's like. It's probably like having birth. 
Yeah, for people, a girl. People honestly say that it's worse than having birth. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I can just imagine, but I would say not. Cause like it is painful, but I don't, I don't think it's worse than something like that. Like we're talking about a baby coming out of. Yeah, but it's mean? probably the same amount of pain though. I don't know. But I mean, I don't know. It could be the same because for the amount of time, like girls, like when they give birth, like it's a while. Like sometimes it could be longer. Like they give me labor for like hella hours. A long time, yeah. And they're carrying a baby for like nine well, months. Well, I mean the woman, um, how would I, w woman. So the woman part of the body, I feel like it's stretchable. Like it could stretch to be able to handle that, no? Or what? Well, like we, it's meant for that. Yeah, women were meant to give birth. Right, so like, I don't know, but we a man- We are more stronger, we but, are more powerful. But then again, like a man is woman not rights. used to pee out kid stones. I don't know, like God didn't make us to pee out stones. I don't know. It could be the same thing. <laughs> But I'm gonna put up a picture right here, you guys. This was the very first kidney stone I ever had, you guys. And it was probably, the, the doctor said it was like a good size. Like it was probably like a dime. And there was no way of that thing coming through my pee hole. That one was probably the worst kidney stone pain I've ever had. Just because like, it, it was, was so huge, big. yeah. So like if you guys have had like a normal kidney stone where it's like a little nerd, just imagine like a little nerd. That's like normal. But I had that like four times worse, four times bigger. So I'm the pain to, was four times worse. I'm trying to think of like what they can compare it to like a whole like, you know, like I was just looking at your face. I was like, imagine your little nostril, like, yeah. like taking out a huge popsicle. I don't know. Well, that won't hurt. The, the, the bigness of it though. Oh yeah, I'm talking the about bigness. the bigness. Yeah, okay. just imagine something that's not supposed to fit somewhere going out that's hella big. Yeah. Just imagine that. And then it feel, it hurts too, too because you need to pee. It feels like you hella need to pee, but it yeah. doesn't come out. You feel because the urge. It's, it's basically clogged, like that stone, which is a rock. Yeah. Like it's literally like clogging his like hole. My, my pee hole. For the pee to come out. Yeah, so pretty much Anyways. there's a lot of lemonade just sitting there, right? So the doctors, their whole plan was like, okay, since you can't pee it out, we're gonna have to go in there, stick a camera, a GoPro inside you. GoPro. <laughs> Imagine. Can't. We're gonna stick a GoPro. Get some footage, post it on it's, YouTube. It's gonna be on 4K, so don't worry about it. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, as long as it's 4K, I Love guess. Love that for us. No 720. <laughs> so he's like, I'm gonna stick a camera inside your pee hole, okay, and then serious, we're gonna break serious. it. For real. So that's what they did. No, for real. That's what they did. They got, they stuck a camera through, and then they broke it. Like they tried finding it, like a submarine. They tried finding it, and then. Pfft, Zapped it. So before anybody starts saying anything, what do you really think is causing it or what? Well, it's just salt. They're salt. They're like salt stones. So yeah. it's just having a lot of sodium and stuff like that. So like I was telling Stephanie, like I was telling my mom, I feel like I have to like prevent it. So if I have, let's say a soda or some fries, try not to have salty foods for the rest of the day. Try to only have like one salty food a day. I drink a lot of water. So they could mess up my kidney. So I'm not trying to have that. And kidney stones are painful. So I'm not trying to get that again. You never had a kidney stone, huh? And I never will. And you never will. So yeah, so that first, kidney stone that I did get you guys I did have to go to surgery it wasn't like where they opened me up but like I said like that to put me to sleep and then uh, they had to give me morphine because I was in so much pain and the morphine if you guys have ever had morphine like you want to take some of that shit to go you know what I'm saying like I think it feels good like I was in so much pain crying guys like I was I think in high school and like I, I felt like I was a tough guy you know what I mean but like I was crying right when the morphine hit you're just like like it just hits your whole body and it just feels, <laughs> it feels good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it's like supposed to heal. Yeah, if you guys have ever had morphine, put it down in the comments down below and let me know how it felt. Cause I mean, I don't know, but when I had it, the pain was completely gone. So then I went through that surgery, they took it out. I woke up, everything was fine. And then like literally, I think a year later is when we moved to LA. LA. Yeah. Or, or a couple years. I, I it don't, was like I don't two remember. years later. Two years later. LA. Yeah, two years later, we moved to LA. And in that six month span that we lived in LA, you guys, I probably went to the hospital like what? Five, six times. Four, five, six times. <laughs> no, for real. Like my mom showed me this. I'm under her insurance still, obviously, because I'm under 26 or 25 or whatever the law is. So she showed me like the stub or whatever of how much it costs for that month. Do you remember the price? What it was? Or no? No. $90,000 you guys. That's how much it was, $90,000 to be in the hospital. Cause I was there like multiple nights. I was getting like IV, just treatment, morphine's not cheap, x-rays, stuff like that. So it was $90,000 for that. Just imagine if we didn't have insurance, like that would have been crazy. Bro. I just would have had to sit there through the pain, but even Stephanie had to go through it. And you took videos, didn't you? Wait. Of me in the hospital? I remember I have one video of you in the hospital and you were like shooting something in the trash can. Yeah, so, yeah we're just trying to make the most it of it. It's just was like, that? I don't know, it was just a paper ball. Like just we're like just trying to make 
the most of it or whatever. Boring. It was all boring in there. No, for real. Yeah, so my parents literally lived three hours away, so they had to drive three hours away just to come see me, and it was just a terrible time. That it was, was like, depressing. That was one of the reasons why it was depressing, huh? Yeah, for sure. It was depressing. I felt like we were just like always in hospitals, and like it was just like surrounded by sadness. And you couldn't have your family around, so my yeah. family to drive three hours just to see me in the hospital, like that was the... Like that, that's when I was like, you know what, we have to move back. So that's why, that's like one of the reasons why we moved back. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. There's many other reasons. One of reasons. many reasons. <laughs> For real. Yeah, but so the whole point of this, you guys, is I did have a kidney stone. I was in so much pain, but right now the way that the hospitals work is right now they're sending almost everybody back, you guys. Like I heard a story of somebody that had a problem and they sent him back and ended up dying because they sent him back. But they literally don't have enough doctors. They don't have enough beds. They literally don't have enough assistance. So it's like, for me to just have a kidney stone, like they wouldn't take me in because there's much more important people to attend. You know what I'm saying? More so, severe. More not, severe not people. Not important, but like it's more severe. So yeah, so like I was in a lot of pain, you guys, to where if the kidney stone didn't come out an hour later, I probably would have gone to the hospital and stuff like that. Good thing I drank a lot of water and I've been through it, you guys, because I knew exactly what to do. I drank some cranberry juice, drink like probably a gallon of water, you guys, and that, that thing just came flying out. Hurt a little bit, I'm saying, but my uh, I guess my pee hole is used to it already, so that thing's extended. If it's cherry, is pop. You know what I'm saying? So the whole point of this video is that this morning, I actually woke up. Up and I peed out another kidney stone. But this one, like, I had no pain. It was smaller? It was a little bit of pain. Like, I felt like a sting in, like, my elephant trunk. Um, why are you laughing? <laughs> Fine, shrimp cocktail. What the f Just kidding. <laughs> So in my men's private area, I felt like a sting throughout the day after I peed out the first kidney stone and I was like, why am I still feeling that? I feel like I still might have another one. But this one was small, you guys. Like it was very, very small. Just hopefully imagine. Hopefully they stay small. Just to, just you imagine, know? you know, hopefully I don't get any at all. I know, but you said you feel, don't you feel something yeah. still? Yeah, so I feel like, no, not anymore. Oh. Like after I peed out the first one, I still felt a sting, like kind of like the symptoms of having it. Oh. So this morning I peed one out and it was very, very little. So hopefully that was like the last one of like all the salt that we had or something. I don't know. Hashtag pray uh, for Jesus. Yeah, pray for me, you guys. No kidney I, stones. No kidney stones 2021 or ever. For real though. Like, so for is real. kidney stones like a, like a mutual like family thing? Is that I genetic? Think, yeah, I think it does come from your Levi's genes. Love that for us. Love that for us. It does come from your Stop. genes. You guys. <laughs> It does come from your genes. As you guys can tell, I don't take shit serious like at all. But yeah, it does come from your genes. My dad has had kidney stones, but not this bad. So for me to have kidney stones like this at a young age, like that's pretty serious, that's you guys. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty serious. So my mom's pretty worried. Stephanie's pretty worried. I'm getting kind of worried, you know what I'm saying? So I am going to start limiting myself, like I said. Hopefully, so we can try to prevent that issue. But we just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about it our experiences with kidney stones and stuff like that. And good thing we didn't get rushed to the hospital, but that was like a possibility that we were gonna do. And right now with the whole like COVID situation, that is the last place you wanna be at, especially because there's probably patients and people over there trying to go over there to get treated for that. So just imagine going there and ah, I guess too much. it's just a scary time right now. So good thing we didn't get rushed to the hospital, stuff like that. So good thing it was just very minor. So I'm and glad hopefully no longer, no more. No longer, no more. For real though, because real. I feel like we really need to take it serious this time. Yeah, I know that's actually something very, it's not like a diet where you're like, oh, I'm just gonna start a diet for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But if you have like diabetes or something like that, you take it a lot more serious. But, but this is your kid. Kidney. This is my kidney. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I need to take it serious. Yeah. That's why it's like more serious. You should have so. been taking it serious. No, for real. So let's go it's get some fries. Real. Love that for us. No, it's okay. Let's go get some fries and some salty sea caramel shakes. It's like, it's like, so with that being said, let's go get some salty I ass know. fries. So with that being said, we'll see you guys at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, imagine. No, no, but anyway, so if you guys haven't followed Jesus' Twitch, make sure you do. It's at IJMARI. That is I-J-A-M-A. I-J-MARI. Look at Stephanie being a supportive girlfriend, huh? What the? What okay. that? Now, if you guys aren't following my Twitch already, you guys, I did promote it in the last video. It is going to be IJMARI. You do have to download the app and then go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on there. No, Make sure you do, you guys. Um, I feel like he's gonna be really active on there, especially because he does love playing video I games. I really play video games. A lot. How much do I play? Like I play probably a lot. like 99% of the day for real. Oh wow, so great. <laughs> no, I probably play a good six hours a day. Yeah, it's it's. I feel like you're you're gonna be consistent and it's gonna be funny because you're naturally funny. Like I don't know. And Stephanie I'm might be, be watching it. And then Stephanie will probably be on some videos or some live streams as well. So what if we do Stay like some funny stuff on there? Yeah, we could do some funny stuff. Can we? Do they do they do that? Yeah, we know. could do like videos. Really? 
Well, people, a lot of people, like, they don't have to play video games. They're just there to chat. Like, they'll just be there chatting. Love that for us. You know so if you guys do want to go on there and chat with us, then go ahead and head over and subscribe. And, and you follow. can make us do some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Yup. And there's going to be, like, some giveaways and stuff like that. I know we can do that, right? Yeah, money giveaways. Cool. So I need to learn a little bit more about it, but he knows mostly about it. I know. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit different, but we wanted to explain to you guys this situation. It was a little story time. A little story time. You know what I'm saying? We love but sit downs. We love a little sit down video a little sit down but before we end today's video we do have to do a post notification shout out which is going to who me baby so today's notification shout out goes to tasha timbreza shout out to you whoever else would like a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe to our channel turn on the bell and then comment when done but without further ado thank you so much for watching we, we love, love you guys, guys and we'll see you guys, guys next time, time. peace